So what's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Tay, and you can see I am running a little late. Everybody is already going inside of the store. I'm just getting out of my car. So let's go here and go to Ben time and see if we can find some profits. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Dante. I like running in the Ben stores, Goodwills, any kind of thrifting adventure for me. I like doing it and I like to record myself so you guys know that you can go out here and do it too. If I can go out here and I can find some items that I'm only paying two and three dollars for and reselling them for 50, you definitely can too. But this is a Ben store. All of their items today is five dollars. It is one of their restock days, so I wanted to come to see if we can find some items for profit. So let's go into the bins and see if we can find some good stuff. I really don't have any kind of strategy when I come to these bins. I normally literally just pick up items that I think are profitable. I put them in my bag and then I come back and I will scan them a little bit later on. Sometimes if the store is really slow like it is today, you have a little bit more time where you can actually pull out your phone and scan the items as you go but sometimes you don't have that luxury. So you have to just throw everything in your bag. So you see, I'm already finding some items like this radar detector that turned out to be kind of complete garbage. I tried to test that on my way. So I did purchase that item, but I know there is something profitable for me in store. All I have to do is just keep searching the bins and I will find something. In today's clips, you're gonna see me actually pick up a lot of items don't buy everything that I do pick up, but I'm just throwing everything in my bag for now because I don't know the exact value and it may be profitable. So let's go ahead and throw it in my bag so nobody else can come and put it in their bag and get all of the profits. I will scan all of these items a little bit later on to see exactly what the value is. And as I'm going back in this footage, I can see there's an item that I left behind, but I do come back and pick up a little bit later on and we will see what that item is. Since the sort is slow, like I said, I do decide to go ahead and pull out my phone and just go ahead and start looking up these items just to make sure I don't want to waste my time having a bag full of stuff that's not valuable. The store was slow, so again, I can take my time. If it was a little bit busier, I wouldn't have pulled out my phone at this time, but now that I can, as you can see, the item only has one sold comp, so that item is just not for me. I'm going to leave it behind. I did see this Xbox One game, this Anthem game. Thought it was going to be valuable. I should have known if it's still in the bins. It wasn't. $19.99 was the original sale price. But if you go on eBay and you can look, you can see the actual sold prices. Make sure that we're always checking sold counts. Sold prices that I can get this game for roughly around nine bucks or so, four dollars. So that's not even worth it. Everything costs five dollars. I wouldn't make any profit on that item. But I did see this high school musical three movie collection DVD. I thought it would be valuable. But again, after scanning it, I see that it's not. There's a lot of people selling it. And then when we go to the sold comps, because to me, sold comps matter the most. You can see that people are buying this game for eight dollars, fourteen dollars, eleven dollars for five dollars. Do I want to take a chance on the game? Not really. There's just a lot of people selling it, like I said. So I'm going to put it back. These bin stores are popping up all over the place, so I encourage you to try to find your bin store on Facebook. You can try to search Google now because more results are popping up in Google. So just type in local bin store and results may pop up for you. I did see this Harry Potter train set. I really didn't think it was going to be valuable, but you can see some people are trying to sell it for 40 bucks, 39 bucks. Some people are only trying to sell it for 20. But again, we go to the sold comps. That's the name of the game. And you can see that people are selling this anywhere between 18 to $25. So I think I can take a chance on this item. I'm only going to pay $5 for it. I can make at least like a 10 to $12 profit after fees and everything like that. So this is going to be an item that I'm going to definitely get. You can see me going back after checking the souls just to see how many people is actually selling this item. I'm kind of hesitant, but I'm thinking, you know what? It can be worth it because I know my strategy when it comes to reselling. Everybody's strategy when it comes to reselling is completely different. You may see items that I'm putting back and I'm scanning and not picking up and say, why didn't he get that? It's because everybody's profit margins is completely different. So what may work for me and my profits may not work for you and vice versa. So never get discouraged when you see somebody buying something that you would have never bought in, or when somebody says something that you bought and they're like, oh my God, I would have never purchased that. Everybody's different. That's why I love reselling. There's different markets for everybody. No matter what niche you are in, you can probably find some profits in that niche. So always just go with your gut a lot of the times. Please take advice from a lot of people as well, but just make sure that you know that you are the one who's putting your money into your own business. So the strategies that work best for you are the ones that you need to go with, nobody else's. 
The next item that I ran across was this Transformers figurine. You can see how golden it looks. So I wanted to scan it, although half of the box is completely ripped. That doesn't mean that the item inside isn't still worth it. So I decided to scan and you can see that they're selling for like around 20 bucks or so. Some selling for 25. And after you go into the sold comps, you can see that they're still selling for really good. Even though this box is torn, I'm pretty sure somebody will come along and buy it. Especially if I only have $5 into it, I'm sure I can get at least $12 or more. Maybe a little bit more. I'm going to try to start my price at $18.88 and see what happens. But I'm not going to let the broken box deter me. You can see I have a sweet tooth. I saw those sweet tarts, but they were expired, so we had to put them back. After continuing digging, trying to look for items, you know, I ran across some baby stuff and these were like baby diapers or training pads. I don't even know. And I thought it was something that could be useful for myself because I know you've probably heard it a thousand times, but your boy is about to be a dad. Um, yeah, I'm shouting that out to the world. So I'm about to have a baby. So I'm trying to also find regular items that I can use for my personal use in these bin stores. Just because I'm a reseller, that does not mean that I don't want items for personal use because you can find great deals in these bins. And considering that these things only cost like around $11 or so and uh, my baby won't be able to use these for another two years, I went ahead and put them back. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, I can't complain about yourself. Good to see you, sugar. <laughs> I didn't see nobody. I'm like, they didn't change. Are you living here now? Mm -mm. No, no? Yeah, just came to visit here. my mom. Her birthday was yesterday, so I wanted to come see her. Oh, yeah, okay. big 65. I was like, I can't miss that one. <laughs> well, so. to you too. Yeah, the reason I was in town that week was it was my mother's birthday and I wanted to come visit her. So, yeah, happy birthday again, mother, although it's probably like a week and a half over with now. But yeah, happy birthday to you, mom. You know, I love you. And I did find these pills. You know, I love my flea and tick pills that I run across all of these ointments in the bins. I've never seen this brand before. I'm used to the other brand. I think it's like Safeguard or something like that. But that brand was new to me. Decided to look it up and you can see it's selling for similar like the other brand when it comes to these flea and tick removers and ointments selling for like around 27 bucks but just something just seemed off with this package i wanted to do a little bit more inspecting i wasn't really quite sure so i went ahead and just threw in the bag and then when i go over all the items a little bit later on i'll find out if it's a good item for me to grab or not but the search for profits continues because that's what it's about you can see i've been in the store for 26 minutes at this point which is not bad i do have a bag not full of items, but I do have around 10 to 12 items in my bag at this point, which means I guarantee that I'm going to walk out with some kind of profit because normally when I come to the bin stores, I'm not going to lie. I usually find items that I once I put it up on eBay, something's going to sell within a few days to make my profit back for the entire trip of the day. That's why I love the bin stores, because you're kind of guaranteed profit for the most part. I do run across another item that I did end up getting opened, which you'll see a little bit later on. This was a telescope. I wanted to make sure that all the parts were in here. In the beginning of the bin stores, I used to come and get items and never open the items. I used to just go with my gut instinct and just grab the items. Now I've learned, don't do that. We need to make sure that we're opening up these items before we leave. That's what it's for. They have box opening stations for that reason. So you can actually go get items open. So, I've started utilizing that a little bit more as well. Earlier in the video, I was looking at some item and then this right here was underneath it. I didn't recognize it until I'm doing the playback of the video, but I did come and found this one. So that means there was another one that was in the store. And that sucks because this item brand new is worth well over a hundred dollars, which obviously I didn't know at the time until I actually look it up. But when I play the replay on the video, I know that there was another one inside of the bins and I left it behind. So that's kind of disappointing. That is one of the downfalls of me not actually scanning every single item and kind of taking my time instead of rushing through when you first come in. Because you're guaranteed to miss some items. And I did that. I missed one of these items that I'm looking up right now and it's selling for at least $100. So that's kind of disappointing, but at least I did find one, right? We're gonna always look at the bright side of things. It wasn't meant for me, it was meant for somebody else. And now that I know, I know I need to take my time a little bit more when I come to these bin stores or any store in general. Because if I overlook something that time, you can only imagine how many times I've overlooked other items. I did see this Philips Sonic head toothbrush. I know that these items sell like hotcakes. I'm talking about pancakes. I'm talking about they all 
off of the griddle so fast but this one was missing the actual head for it i still wanted to look it up just to see if any sold without the head i didn't see any sold all the ones i sold were either new or new other so i decided just to go ahead and leave that behind because I didn't have time. You see me trying to check the condition and there was none. So that's how I know that there was no other one sold besides new. One of the bad things about being in the bins, items do get tossed around and they get beat up. This Funko Pop Seinfeld Jerry, it wasn't really that profitable anyway. And I'm not a big Funko Pop fan, even though it was a Target exclusive and it wasn't that valuable for me to ship. But items do get damaged in these bins. So we have to be mindful of that as well did see this game. I thought it was going to be another valuable game, but I should have known that this game was worth absolutely nothing. I could have bought this game cheaper on eBay than was in the bins, but I am looking at it just because I don't have it. And it might be a game that I would have wanted, but I decided against it and put it back because I'm getting away from buying items for personal use, especially here in 2022. I just want to buy more stuff for my business unless it's going to be for my baby. They do have a food section. So I want to walk around and see exactly what they had to offer for their food. Everything is only $1. You can have flour, they have chips, they have sauces, they have sodas, they have all kinds of randomness when it comes to these foods. And people really love coming here to get a bunch of good deals. You'll see a little bit later, somebody bought a bunch of flour and they dropped it on their way out they're probably cleaning it up right now as we speak but you'll get to see that here in a little bit so i've been in the bins for probably around 40 minutes or so at this point in time it's time for me to go this is where i go over all the items and make sure i'm gonna buy exactly what's in my bag so i'll pick up an item rescan it recheck it make sure everything's there this flea tick thing there's supposed to be four doses in there but there was only three after i looked at it upon further inspection so this was an item that we definitely had to put back i'm glad i did look at it that would have been five dollars that would have went down the drain so we throw that item back and then we just do the same thing with all of the items we recheck items make sure they look good is it worth it is it actually going to be profitable for me so that's what i do now I'm here waiting in line because I did want to get that telescope thing open. I want to make sure that it wasn't cracked, it wasn't broken, that all the pieces were there. And after I looked at it, I did realize a piece was missing, but I can probably still sell it. It sells for over $30 or so, so it's definitely going to be profitable for me. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it, have them tape it back up, and then I'm going to go proceed to the checkout. And then you already know what time it is after I check out. We're going to go to the house and I'm going to tell you exactly how much profit we are going to make exactly what items i bought and all that good stuff right. and on my way out you can see where somebody bought 50 things of flour and it dropped all over the floor so they have to deal with that okay guys we're at the house let's go ahead and go over all the items that we found today at been time, well not technically today, but the day that we went sourcing for these items because one of the items already sold. Yes, let's go ahead and talk about that. You remember when I picked up that telescope looking item and I actually had that item open? That item already sold for your boy. That item sold for, I wanna say $29 and like 96 cents, I believe. Somewhere around there, items already shipped out. Hopefully the buyer will get it today and leave me some good feedback. But yeah, that item already sold. We did pay $40 for everything, so we're not quite in the profits yet, but one item selling and we already made half our money back, we can't beat that. And then we also found some other items in the bins, starting with this Free Guy Ultra K Blu-ray HD DVD or whatever you call these things nowadays. This item is selling on the high end, like around 40 bucks. I did see a recent soul comp selling for like $39. I saw several selling in the $30 range. A few people are selling them for $25 plus. So hopefully I can make a strong $20 plus profit. You know, I like $20 bills. I'm gonna try to make at least 25, but I should make at the very minimum $20 on this free guy DVD. And I actually saw this movie probably like a week and a half ago and when i found it i was like this looks familiar and then i looked at it and i was like oh yeah i just saw it but it's a decent movie it's a decent movie this isn't a review channel so we're not going to really talk about that the next item that we found is going to be this 
Eskian, Eskian, Eskian. I have no idea how to pronounce it, but we do know it is profits. And we ain't got to pronounce profits, baby. All we know it is profits. But we found this item. We do saw some people are trying to sell some for like around $20 and some change. $22, $24. I'm going to try to get $18.88 for mine, which means I should make like around $13 profit or so. Yes, the buyer will be playing shipping. That's my plan. That's the goal, hopefully. And I also promote a lot of these items because I've learned when you charge shipping if you promote the item it normally will sell a little bit quicker just a little bit you know what i'm saying just a little bit of advice if you want to take it you can take it you ain't got to take it though you ain't got to take it and then the next item that we have i was about to say the next item that sold that means this is about to sell quick then i must be putting some good juju on this so the next item that we found is going to be this drew mcintyre wwe figurine i am a big wrestling fan as you can tell by that belt that we made have behind me and some wrestling figurines that we have up top but right here is this drew mcintyre not a big drew mcintyre fan though but he is selling for like around 18 bucks or so maybe so i'm only gonna profit like around 13 dollars maybe 12 maybe 10 on this figurine but it was a wrestling figure he got the championship belt and is a certified authentic and it's an elite figurine which made me want to buy the item and i'll take the little small eight to $14 profit that I can potentially get off of that item. The next item that I found is gonna be this next pal. This is a battery charger for your car. If you're stranded on the side of the road, you know, you have one of these things, you just hook it on up. It has a little flashlight, you know, to charge your car. I think it even charge your phone, charge some other stuff. Might be able to plug your computer to it. This thing was selling for $100 brand new. This was in the bins. I don't think it's brand new, even though it has the brand new stickers on it. I'll probably either sell it for open box or used or something like that. And hopefully I can get at least $60 for it. If the brand new ones are selling for about 100, I should be able to get at least $60 for this item. And then the next item that we found is gonna be these Harry Potter trains. I saw some people trying to sell these Harry Potter trains for like $30, $40, $45 and stuff. But when you go and check the sold comps, you see that they sell anywhere between $18 and like $24 bucks or so. So I'm going to try to get that $22.22, somewhere around there. And hopefully I can profit at least a strong $18 plus on each one of these trains. If I have to take a $10 profit on each one, I will do that as well. But I'm going to try to start off making at least $18 profit on these trains. So wish me luck. And... I'm not even a big Harry Potter fan. I've only seen like one or two, and I think I was forced to watch those movies because that was the only thing on TV while I was locked up. <laughs> then we did grab this Transformers that is chewed off like a dog probably chewed it or a creature from beyond or somebody. I don't know, but this piece is definitely missing, and it, still, it seems like it's still new, like it's never been opened even though you can see it does look like it has been tried to be. No, it hasn't. It just damaged the, the packaging is really damaged this item selling for like around 20 something dollars i believe or so in that range went ahead and grabbed it if i can get at least 15 for it it'd be good for me that means i would make a 10 dollar profit so that's the goal if i can sell this for at least 10 to well actually if sell it for 15 plus dollars to make that 10 dollar profit i'll be happy but i will take 13 dollars on this item i'm not even gonna lie i will take an eight dollar profit on this item as well and that's all the items that we grabbed and we talked about the item that sold already and yeah so it was a good successful trip i do believe i do believe um and i think we may have gotten something for baby as well because you know we can't forget about the baby these bin stores are not only good for researching profits but they are also good for grabbing items for personal use for the babies you know what i'm saying so it's not all about just scanning 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 for profits it's also about finding personal items too because they be having a lot of good deals in them bins but anyways guys thank you so much for watching the channel thank you so much for being here with your boy don't forget your boy got merch i will leave the merch link in the description box below and once you get the merch make sure you send me a picture of you while you are in the merch like this guy did and that way i can put you in a video or my upcoming commercial that i plan on shooting later on in the fall yeah it's going to be a little bit later on in the year so yeah i just want to get prepared for all of that it's going to be a good year good year guys and most importantly though make sure that you bless somebody today because i promise you i will bless somebody tomorrow at this point in time your boy tay i'm out